I am in the beautiful city of Luang Prabang. Hey guys, so we are gonna go eat some Lao food. Let's go. Dhammakung Luang Prabang style. So this style is all about flat, wide, kind of papaya strips. And so for this one, you see it's a lot of green, a lot of different tomatoes that are cherry style, but still green. So let's see how this actually tastes. This, I've heard a lot of Thai celebrities come here to eat. So of course I have to come here and eat. This cup right holder pick that. No, that's actually real good. Oh my god. Perfect pungency and freshness, well combined flavors. This is this is the place to be. Oh yeah, you can take shots of those. I'm eating one of the best kalpiak scents I've had since being in Laos. This was recommended by a follower on Instagram. So thank you. This is, it'll fool you. The noodles aren't as pretty, but it is amazing in texture. The broth, you can taste all the flavors of the egg or the pork. And it comes with, what is it? Bean sprouts and lime, and you have the condiment, like 10 different condiments in the middle. This is a place to go, Siang Tong Noodles. Siang Tong Noodles, check it out. Along most of the streets in Laos, you'll find all types of barbecue that are put on a bamboo stick. So here we have some pork belly, chicken, all types of meat. Literally, you can barbecue anything you want in Laos and they will definitely do it for you. And so after this, I went to go get some kaupun nam jail and it was really good. And I slurped all of it, including the noodles and broth. After this, I decided to go try the traditional Lao style khao soy, which is very different from other khao soy's. And this was actually my first time trying lap lut. I was a little hesitant, but after I gave it a go, you can see it was it was actually not bad. It was it was good. It was cold jello. Mm. And then after that, I needed some dessert, and we got some namban. It's really refreshing. I highly suggest visiting the morning market. It's a really fun way in to get to know the Lao people and what they sell when it comes to produce, meats, veggies, herbs. You can get anything at the morning market. Here are some really delicious flowers and then rice, all types of variety, especially sticky rice and all types of variety of peppers, as you can see here. And then after this, we saw fresh fish from the Mekong frogs. Anything you want to eat, it will be here. And then they even caught some really small baby shrimp right here. And then also if you're looking for some sin, those are also available at the morning market. And then at the night market, there people are getting ready to sell all their products. So there's a lot of clothing and gadgets, um, a lot of gimmicky kind of stuff I'd say. Some liquor with some snakes in it, I've never had it. Um, and then just in general, you can get juices of all types. Hello, Sabai D. I am in the botanical gardens today. This is the first botanical gardens in Laos, Pat Khe, um, and it is a gorgeous place. You can see all types of bamboo, herbs, medicine, and it includes knowledge and information. It, each plant has its own description, it tells you its healing purposes, how Lao people have used it. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous place you need to visit. Botanical Gardens, first one in Laos. This is the beautiful Mandalao area where all the elephants are here to just run free. No seats, no sitting on them, and we're just putting our boots on. In order to get to the elephants, we actually had to take a boat across the river. It's a really short ride. Once you get there, you can immediately start feeding them the bananas, fruits, and all the goodies. <laughs> they love eating, and they're very gentle and kind creatures. So then we started getting ready for the hike. All we did was follow the elephants. Um, it was maybe about a mile hike. And it was really cool to see them in their element, kind of using their strength of pulling down branches, nibbling at foods. 
Um, it was one of the best experiences I've had in Laos, just knowing that there is a place that's tr supporting the elephants and helping them thrive. I had to learn how to drive a scooter for the first time and was I nervous? But we made it to the place very safely. It was Kwangsi Waterfalls. It was very magical, breathtaking. Look at that water, it's so clear. We even decided to take a dip and it was probably the cleanest water I've ever swam in. So I would highly recommend this place. Then we drove back via scooter and decided that we wanted to go to this traditional Lao wearing place where they had a huge selection of Lao traditional garment that you could wear and then they helped us get dressed and this is the result of being put into traditional Lao clothing and I absolutely loved it and loved wearing these clothes and this is what it looks like and we wanted to wake up early morning to see the almsgiving that they do very early along the streets of Luang Prabang